Hi everybody! It is Shauna, almost live. I'm having trouble with the Facebook thing. You know, going live, I don't know how to do it. So I'm going almost live. And I'm just making this. I won't be editing. I'll just be putting it up. And it'll be put up just as soon as I can see. I'm all done with the video. I am adding olive oil to... Pay attention to this here. Yeah, that's right. Let me make sure how much I need to put in there. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. I am um, adding olive oil to what I already melted. You don't have to melt olive oil. You only have to melt things like cocoa butter, shea butter. Palm kernel oil and coconut oil, but now we're adding olive oil, which needs no melting. And um, I melted it by putting the whole thing, the whole bucket, if you will, in um, hot water. So it was like a double boiler. And um, now I'm adding the olive oil, and then I'll add some castor. More oil than my recipe called for because I did use a little bit more lye this time. So you fix that by, you know, making sure you're um, putting enough of the fats in there. Okay, now um, let's see. This was the great grapeseed oil I have over here. That was from an earlier soap I made today, and some jojoba and some avocado oil. That was from a soap that I made earlier today. Let me take a minute here to tell you about that. Today I made this soap. It's the second of a series that I have made so far that I'm calling um, Egg Yolk and Honey Soap. And this one has uh, matcha powder in it. So it has ma it's going to be called Matcha Mint um, because I also put peppermint in it. It is strong with peppermint. This is going to be a pretty nice series. I'm hoping to make about four. It'll be ready for Christmas orders and stuff like that. Um, hopefully not sold out before Christmas, although I won't mind, but, um, uh, I don't think you'll have anything to worry about, because I'm still a baby business, but you never know. Um, so this is now going to have, we have olive oil in it, and there's one more, castor oil. Let me check my recipe. Uh, okay. We need eight ounces of the castor oil, so I'm going to tear that on my scale. This is my um, is part of my stick that's going to do the blending. All right, so here we go with the castor. It seems like castor is a heavy oil, and you have to be careful with it. You can't throw too much in too fast because there we go. Got it. And um, castor is um, responsible for a lot of the bubbles. It helps helps with the lathering, and so are things like sugars and things that you might add to your soap. There won't be a sugar in this one, but the one I made this afternoon definitely had. Uh, honey and that that as far as I understand that supports the bubbles and things like that Okay, so we are ready. Um, I got a new um, got Castor oil in my hands. That's why it's good to have towels around um, I got a new blender stick today Not today. It's the first day I'm using it. I got it the other day, but my other blender stick um, started to just smoke There'll be a video on YouTube of um, me showing the last day I used it, and it was smoking between here. So this is my second time using my new blender stick, and you get to see that almost live. All right, so let me get, um, I, I got to get myself all ready here. Bringing over the lye water. Must always be careful. Let's see how we're doing in the viewfinder here. Viewfinder. What am I saying? All right. Um, and 
where's my goggles? I should have had them on already. Oh, they're right here. What do you know? Okay. Um, so, let's check the lie. Looks like, uh, yeah. It's doing pretty good. How warm is it? Yeah, oh, it's perfectly fine. Okay, we can work with this now. But before we get started, let's talk about the colors. We're going to be using Nurture Soap Orange Vibrance Mica Powder and Really Red. I guess it would be typical to just use the orange for me and maybe even some titanium dioxide, but I think, I don't know, I'm thinking not to use titanium dioxide, just, just the orange and then use the Really Red as kind of like a little, I don't know, just like a little side, little color in there. Although it might be nice to use a little titanium as another side color to swirl in there. You know, that could be nice. Maybe I should consider that. Let me get that. I feel this urgency to go faster because this isn't going to be an edited video, but I don't want to mess up either, so bear with me. If you want to watch it, you watch it, right? Alright, because really, what you're seeing here is that these things really do take a lot of time, and uh, it's, it's a true work. It's a fun work, but it's real work. I mean, you have to be able to stop everything. You can't be cooking while you're doing this. You gotta do this. And, uh, unless you can do it smart, but it's kind of, you know, you gotta, um, it's, it's like going, it's like I'm going to work. I clock on in a sense. <laughs> um, cause there's, it takes a lot of time to do this and you want to do it right. And, um, Alright, so that's the titanium dioxide. I'm not going to use a lot. Um, and then when it comes to the red, I'm going to make it in here. Uh, I'm just going to kind of use the red and the white as a way to... Um, can you see this okay? Oh, I hope you can see it okay. Um, as a way to just make it more interesting than than just, you know, orange. But there's something else that's going to go in this, and that is cranberries all over the top. Now, whatever sits on top can easily fall off and will stay red. And whatever goes in will stay in, but it'll turn black. So it's kind of a, um, you know, what they say, six in one hand and half a dozen in the other. Do you want them in the soap or do you want them on top? So I'll probably just kind of make sure it stays on the top but swirled in a little bit. And because um, somebody recently asked me, can you bring back the orange essential oil and mint soap with the cranberries on top? Now the one thing, well I can't remember if it actually had mint or if she even said mint. Um, no, it was, now I'm forgetting. Well, anyway, this is going to be mint, but it's not going to be a lot of mint. We're going to just put a hint of mint, and we're going to do more of the orange. And so it's going to be all essential oils in that way. All right, so we are ready with these things, but guess what's not ready is our actual soap thing, okay? So let's put some of these away so we can see the next part of what we're doing. I'll keep this out in case I need it. Um, put the titanium away. <clears throat> and um, give this a little stir here. Okay. That's not going to be a lot of white, but just enough to give it a little something that gives it character, I guess. Okay, now, um, now I've got to build the box. So, we've got these two sides. This is how it works. 
And we're gonna need three of these guys. We are going to build the box. Oh, we need the bottom. Come along here to the bottom. What will we do without you? Now, folks, I know you can't really help me, but please don't let me forget to put the parchment paper in. If I forget the parchment paper, oh my goodness, it's so hard to get it out of this mold. It's not impossible, but it'll look messy, rustic. You know, rustic is nice, but boy, do I pay for that with how hard it is to get it out of the box. Okay, so we're going to put this together like that. All right, so this is interesting doing a not live video live, sort of. I mean, it'd be fun if you guys were like commenting and watching as I was doing this, but... If I had like a monitor, you know, someone's sitting there saying, oh, they're asking this question. And I'd give this awesome answer or a stupid one. I don't know which. But <clears throat> I'll try to put it up as quickly as I can when this is over. All right. Is that some soap? And last time, I don't know. Well, we're going to put parchment paper in here. Let me get it. What's that? What'd you say? Parchment paper? Thank you for reminding me. All right. Parchment paper. Look at that. It's just about the right size. All right. There we go. Let me get my clips. if I could eventually figure out how to do live. It's like I was right there and but it seems like you have to be a little bit more of a computer nerd and I thought I was but I, I guess I'm not um, to be able to know what you're doing when you're doing Facebook live so I'll have to do some research on that and know what I'm doing. But, um, what do you guys think? Should I do live videos of like, you know, like once a week, maybe one special night every week, maybe a Friday night thing or what do you think? Okay, <clears throat> here we go. Um, I always get a little nervous in this part because I don't want to mess anything up. And you can easily forget something like the scent. Let me go grab that. Alright, where do we have, we have orange Valencia and orange 10 times. These are the two that I'll be putting in there. And then we're going to need a little bit of the peppermint. I think the original had spearmint, or might have had both. But we have peppermint now. I don't know if I have spearmint around. I, if I do, I don't know. Not going to look right now. Um, okay, so I'm all goggled up. And ready to go. Let me get my uh, gloves. Sorry, I was thirsty. I need some water. All right. Okay, so, gloves, long sleeves, these are all important things when you're making soap. All right, all right, let me think here, make sure I got everything I need. Yes, okay. So let's check this, make sure there's no crystals that didn't dissolve. That's looking pretty good. And now, you 
just pour this over. It really makes me nervous every single time, no matter how many times I made soap, that I'm going to forget something and then just ruin the whole batch. Like, where you can actually use it, but I forgot the scent or something really dumb, you know. But I'm, I mean, the more you do it, the less you worry, but it seems like right at this point, it's like your heart just goes a little faster. This is a little bit more of a quiet stick than the one I had before. And I like it. It scrapes on the bottom a little bit more though. I don't know why, what the difference is. It was a good price though, it was like 20 bucks. It's a pretty good price. I think the one I had before, John had it already and I think it was like already like 70 or 80 dollars. But it burned out. I sure used it a lot. Alright, so that's what happens when you put the lye in there and then it just starts to um, it, it just starts to get all creamy like that. Alright, so now we're going to take this scale. How are we doing in the viewfinder as I say? Okay. We're going to take the scale. I'm going to just um, measure out um, oops, sorry. Okay, I don't want to spill it when we're trying to show you, but all right. All right, I'm going to measure out um, the orange here, how much we need. I'm going to do the orange Valencia first. Okay. And then I'm going to do, oh yes, orange is so nice. I hope it was supposed to have mint. <laughs> it's been a long time and I didn't look it up. Okay, but it, it'll be nice. And that's the orange 10X, which is stronger and nice. And then we're just going to do a touch of mint. Just a little. Alright. Hint o mint. Alright, let me take that down now. Now it's pretty heavy, this thing here. Hi. Okay. Alright, so now um, now's the time to start to think of how I'm going to incorporate the other two colors and uh, which way I'm going to mix them. So first let me incorporate the scent a little bit. This is an essential oil soap. Three essential oils, two kinds of orange, and one of the first distilled peppermint, which uh, all three of these actually come from Brambleberry. That's a soap making company that I um, follow. I, it's one of the ones that I use. Okay, whoops. I'm going to make a bigger mess on that one. Alright, this is thickening up. I don't want it to thicken up too much because I got a little more to do. I'm going to work with it still. But I want to fully incorporate the scent. There we go. Okay. And, um, how do I want to do this? I want to separate the, um, little bit of the red. Just a little bit. I want it to stay red. There's a little bit of a, um, possibility that you end up with pink or something, and I really wanted it to be red. Although, in this case, it's okay if it does turn pink. It'll actually look nice, too. It's not like this other time that I really wanted red, and it just was like, oh no, it's not red. It's just not red. Now let's put this in the white. It's also just going to be a little touch-up as well. As you can see, a very little touch-up. Mm, I might even, uh, yeah. Sometimes these things evolve as you go. You don't know what you want to do, or you do, and it doesn't turn out quite the way you planned, but it's nice. Alright, so you can see that the majority of it, though, is going to be orange. And I, kind of like I cook, tend to dump it a little bit. So let's go ahead and eyeball how much orange we want. And... A little bit more. Okay. All right. Be nice. This is again from Nurture Soap, the Orange Vibrance Makeup Powder, vegan and cruelty free. 
All right. Picking up on me now. I'm not ready for that. Let me do it this way. Oh, slight panic inside. Don't thicken up yet. I'm not ready for you to be there. Mm, maybe I should have put the color in before the scent. That might have been a good idea. All right. So just work, working hard here. Sometimes if you skip using the blender and just do this, I mean, it's, it is important to use the blender, but if you don't want it to mix, overly mix too fast, like, like now, it's good to just use your own old-fashioned muscles. I know that's not a word. Oh, scrape the bottom. I'm trying to get used to this, this new one. All right. Oh, that's looking nice. All right. So let's give it a go. Let me go ahead and spin it a little bit. We don't want it to turn to pudding yet. We're not ready for that. Okay, we'll set it. Go ahead and get it in there. Dun, 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 Okay, and now let's go ahead and see what we can do with this. Still kind of trying to decide what I want to do. Because I could actually put this in here and make it lighter. But I don't know if it'll make a huge difference. Or I can um, just take it and just pour it in, which I might do. Let's do that. It'll make some designs later, which you won't see till you look at my YouTube video later, because that's the part we won't get to see tonight is the cutting, unless we do a live video of me cutting it. That could be exciting. All right, now let's do the really red. I could use a blender stick, or I could do this. Um, hey, it's looking nice. Okay, we'll get back to that in a second. Meanwhile, I would like to pour this in and just get it moving all, you see how it moved all that around and it just adds to the design. All right, so let's get this really red, really spun, because we want to get all that mixed in. The micas are nice. They, they tend to incorporate pretty well. Maybe not always perfectly though. They're pretty good. But I still see that some of it didn't mix in. One way to help with that is to mix it with a little oil before you add the um, actual soap mix. And then you'd have like an oil and mica mix. And then you put the um, soap mix over it. But there's all kinds of ways. As you can imagine, when you first start out, everything is huge. It's like, am I doing this right? Oh, I'm going to mess up. You definitely have a nightmare or two along the way until you get used to what you're doing. All right. I remember one time it was so, it was just crazy. I ended up with like pudding and I was just trying to shove it in with my gloved hands. It was so awful and it worked out. I mean, the soap worked out fine. It was rustic, but it was fine. It just wasn't that fun along the way as it was setting up on me so fast. Then you start getting used to what you're working with and you even know what to do with situations. But I don't know if it ever was quite that bad ever again. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna scrape the rest of this one in here. I know it's all mixed up, but that's okay. This is just kind of a freelancing sort of art. Wait, is that a word? I know it's a word, but did I use it right? Oh. Go ahead and just do more with that. All right, we're gonna pound. Whoa! Make sure there's no air bubbles. Make sure everything settles. And now I am going to put the rest of it in here and kind of do um, what they call an in-the-pot swirl. like that. I just kind of go like that. And then put it all together and 
and pour it and it'll come out how it comes out. And we really don't know what it's going to look like until we cut it. It's like you just don't know and it's so exciting to see what surprises lay underneath each bar of soap. And when you order, you don't know which soap bar you're going to get. One time, there was this soap bar I made. It was just, it was like the whole loaf was made and you put, drop it all in how you drop it. But one of the bars looked like the Coca-Cola, you know, Christmas Coca-Cola bear. And it was so cool. And I think I still have a picture of that, but you know, somebody got it. It's gone. But it was the neatest one. It was so cool. And you just never know what you're going to get. It's really cool. Did I say that already? Yeah, I did. I said cool several times. Alright, I need a little tissue to wipe that up there. Oh, here we go. My soap tissues. I don't want messes like that around. Now there's the other decision I gotta make. Whether or not to let this gel um, just the way it is or put it in the fridge, in the freezer I mean, so that those colors stay really strong. Um, I'm still not sure what I want to do about that. The decision is still not made. Okay, we're done with these. Um, I'll put this in the sink for washing. And in the meantime, it's time to um, get the cranberries in there. And before I do, I believe I want to, um, I want to do the, the swirl thing, or at least I want to do this. Not really a swirl, but I want to move it around a little bit and give it some more of a mix. And um, if you do this long enough while it's still setting up, it can actually create texture so that it's not flat on top if that's what you want. And I might do that even after I put the cranberries on top. Cranberry seeds, I should say. Look how pretty that is. I like that. I think the orange says orange and the red says there's cranberries in this even if the cranberry seeds will turn black when they're on the inside. Um, the ones that sit on top will stay red, but sometimes they fall off the top if they stayed on top. That's the only problem with that. So it's kind of tricky, but I was encouraged that one of my customers, also a friend, um, said, are you going to get that cranberry one back? I, I think, like I said, I think it had spearmint, and this time I used peppermint, but I don't really know for sure. I can't remember. Definitely had the cranberry seeds on top, definitely had the orange. So if somebody likes what you've done before, do it again. And also, I still have these cranberry seeds. It's a company that's not in business anymore. So, um, glad I have them. I guess I can get them somewhere else, but. I'm putting a lot on the top because my experience in the past was, especially when you start shrink wrapping the soap, the seeds just want to jump off the soap bar. And so I just want there to be plenty. And that's why I'm going to mix a little bit in, just so that there's something there. How do I want to do this? A little bit like that, I guess. And, and they'll be a little bit black, the ones that go in. It's just something that happens to them. But, um, oh, that's cool. But at least it'll definitely have Ha stay with it, you know. Um, it probably will help a little exfoliation. It's also just really cool to have cranberries on top. It's like very artsy, rustic-y. Look at that. It even looks Christmassy. Like, I don't know. Should I put more on top or just leave it like that? I kind of like it the way it is. I think I'll leave it. I think I'll leave it. All right. So that is all for our not live video and I am going to turn this off and put it on the Facebook and then I'll clean up my mess while you guys are watching my video.